Manitou compression damper service for forks with threaded castings. This video covers the removal, service, and installation of the compression damper assembly on these Manitou forks. Throughout this video, the fork is shown mounted in a stand and with the casting already removed. Please refer to our threaded casting service video before proceeding. Assemble these tools and parts and let's get started. Use a 2mm hex wrench to remove the knob screw. Hold the knob so it does not spin as you rotate the screw counterclockwise. Once the threads completely disengage from the damper, remove the knob. For forks with two compression knobs, such as R7 Pro, Mastodon Pro, and Matic Pro, proceed to the next step. For forks with only one knob, such as R7 Expert, JUnit Expert and Comp, Matic Comp, Circus Pro, and Mastodon Comp, please skip the next step. Use an 11mm socket to remove the knob lock nut. Rotate counterclockwise until the threads completely disengage from the damper. Remove the black compression knob and seal. Use a standard cassette lock ring tool such as Park Tools FR 5.2 to remove the compression damper assembly. Apply a top-down force while loosening to prevent slipping. Rotate counterclockwise to loosen and remove the assembly from the stanchion. Take caution, non-standard spanners may damage the damper's splined interface. Pour the fork oil into a catch pan. For models with two compression knobs, Use the Manitou slotted cassette tool and a wrench to rotate the damper end cap counterclockwise until the threads completely disengage from the stanchion. For models with one compression knob, use a 22 mm wrench to remove the damper end cap in the same way. Remove the rebound damper assembly from the fork. Clean the inside and outside of the stanchion with isopropyl alcohol and a lint-free towel. Be careful to not scratch the stanchion surfaces. Inspect for scratches or other damage. Use a light to help identify areas of concern. Inspect the rebound damper for damage and replace if necessary. Install the rebound damper assembly into the stanchion. Apply slick oleum grease to the stanchion threads. Spread the grease across the entire thread surface. Start the end cap threads by hand to prevent cross threading and rotate clockwise. From this point on, the casting must have been serviced and reinstalled. Please review the threaded fork casting service video before proceeding. Ensure there is air in the main chamber and it's set to its full ride height. Install the axle into the fork without a hub or wheel. Do not over tighten the axle bolt. Fill the damper leg approximately three quarters full with Maxima five weight fork oil. Cover the damper leg opening with a lint-free towel. Place a wood block or similar raised support underneath the axle and compress the fork 10 to 15 times. The raised support should be wide enough and long enough to safely support the axle. Make sure it is tall enough to eliminate contact between the floor and the bottom of the fork. 
Add 5 weight fork oil to the damper leg until the oil height is set at the proper level for your fork. Measure from the top of the damper leg to the top of the oil. An oil height setting tool used for motorcycle forks makes this job easier. Rotate the adjuster hex on the compression damper counterclockwise to the unlocked or open position. Then install the damper into the fork. As during removal, use a standard cassette lock ring tool with the appropriate socket. Remember that non-standard spanners may damage the damper's spline interface. Apply top-down force while tightening to prevent slipping and torque to the appropriate specification. For models with two compression knobs, install the knob seal and adjuster knob. Hold the knob in place and use an 11 millimeter socket and torque wrench to assemble the knob lock nut by rotating clockwise. For models with one compression knob, install the knob seal and adjuster knob. Hold the knob in place and use a 2 mm hex wrench to tighten. For models with two compression knobs, install the open mode adjust or low speed compression knob. Hold the knob steady and use a 2 mm hex wrench to tighten the knob screw. Torque to 0.5 to 0.7 inch pounds. Tightly thread a shock pump onto the compression rod end fitting and add air. Occasionally pull the casting away from the crown while adding air. Doing so helps to ensure full extension of the fork and proper performance. Fork specific air pressure recommendations are shown in the charts in our service guides at manitoumtb.com. Remove the shock pump and clean the fork with isopropyl alcohol. You have completed the compression damper service for these Manitou forks. Complete service procedures for these forks can be found in our other videos. Please continue to our YouTube channel and ManitouMTB.com for more maintenance procedures and assembly instructions. Thank you for riding with Manitou.